Would you like to learn how to outsmart a narcissist? And how much better would your life be if you knew how to deal with a narcissistic family member, a narcissistic friend, or a narcissistic colleague or boss? Well, watch this video because I'm going to give you seven simple and easy ways to stop a narcissist. If you're new to my channel, I'm Sue Blackhurst and I bring the world of social psychology into everyday language. I post videos every Monday and Thursday, so if you want to understand why people behave the way they do, by subscribing to my channel, you're going to get weekly insights into the fascinating world of human behaviour. Psychologically speaking, narcissism is a personality trait that every person possesses to some degree. And like any characteristic, it exists on a spectrum and we all fall somewhere along this narcissism continuum. On the surface though, narcissists are like regular people, but something changes when assertiveness turns into arrogance, self-love becomes self-centered and persuasion into manipulation. We all feel good to be recognized on some level, but narcissists have an excessive need for attention. And it's not that they want to be the center of attention. They need this abundance of admiration and approval from others. A true narcissist has a sense of entitlement, seeing themselves as being exceptional with an inability to recognize the feelings and needs of other people. And their condescending behavior and vast fluctuations in mood lead to superficial and damaging relationships. Just as we need oxygen to breathe, the narcissist needs the attention to survive, or maybe I should say it's not enough to survive, they need the attention to thrive. And well, we've heard that somewhere before, haven't we? So on the surface, they are charming and captivating and have this unique ability to draw people in as you know, the more enthralled and captivated you are, the stronger they feel. And it reminds me a little bit of Carr, you know, the stake in Jungle Book, as it's like I want to say to you, don't look into their eyes as they will make you feel powerless as they draw you in with that enchanting aura. But like any form of spell or superpower, if you wait long enough, it will wear off, leaving you both emotionally and physically drained from the reality of the relationship that you've had with them. But it's not easy to handle their manipulative ways, but you need to stop giving the narcissist what they need. And the best way to take a narcissist's power is to starve them of the incredible amount of attention that they crave. So here are seven ways to starve a narcissist. Don't react to their compliments. A narcissist wants you to be around them. They hate that feeling of not being noticed. So they're going to work extra hard to win your attention with lashings of compliments and verbal strokes of praise. But they're really clever because all of this is simply to get you into that feel good state. Because if you feel good when you're with them, then why wouldn't you choose to be by their side all the time? But here's the danger, because in every double act, one person is always the leader whilst the other is the stooge. So before you know it, you are being undermined and controlled as you cater for their every need and emotion. And it really is incredibly easy to be drawn in, but their compliments are empty and only provide this short lived boost to the ego. So if you are faced with their praise and overzealous compliments, give them a very polite and courteous thank you. As if you've loads of other things to do that are just way more important than their approval. I have mentioned the penguins in Madagascar before because I love their attitude. Don't be drawn into their false friendship as there is no need to respond. And as the penguins say, just smile and wave boys, smile and wave. Starve them of your secrets, deep thoughts, opinions, and personal history. When we share details about our lives, we're doing two things. We're creating or strengthening this intimate bond we have with the other person, but we're also building trust as we believe that our innermost thoughts, feelings, and actions will go no further. But a narcissist acts from selfishness and it's not a genuine interest. So they will listen and nod in all the right places, but they aren't listening to help and support. They're simply stockpiling ammunition to use against you when they either need to pull you back into their web or cut you off altogether. 
You see, a narcissist feels this sense of power by retelling your secrets. It's that person that walks into the room saying, oh my God, guess what I know? So the answer is, don't share anything about your life with a narcissist. Whatever the conversation is that you're having, imagine that you're sat in a room full of people with all the people you know in your life that you like and dislike. And if you wouldn't want any of those people listening in to what you're saying, then don't say it at all. Starve them of putting their needs over yours. Narcissists love a stage as it enables them to perform and see a reaction from the audience. But what clever actors they are, because they have the ability to alter their performance depending upon the reaction that they're after. And narcissists know exactly how to trigger people. They know which buttons to press and what to say and do to get you to react the way that they want. Because when they see the effect they're having upon you, such as an anger or sadness or frustration, your defences are lowered, making it easier for them to step back in and regain control. They don't feel empathy or sorrow, they begin to feel power. So, in order to starve them of the control that they crave, don't get emotional. When they're frustrating and upsetting you, allow your mind to slowly wander as you imagine them in a soundproof glass box. You can see them, but you can't hear them. Look at them speaking, find an item of clothing and inspect it. Think of the colour or the texture. So as they're talking, your mind isn't allowing their words to manipulate your mind. Obviously, what's going around your head is, oh, what fancy buttons they're wearing, or I wonder if you can machine wash that fabric. You can smile and nod in all the right places but you are placing your needs above theirs as you don't allow yourself to be drawn in as you have absolutely no interest in what they're saying. Starve them of your self-control. We know that there's no such thing as a free lunch, but with a narcissist, there is no such thing as a favor with no strings attached because the narcissist will always try to collect on the favor that you never asked for or wanted. The narcissist will make big promises, you know, that they never intend to keep. It's when you're looking for a job and they claim that they know somebody and will put in a good word, or they know of an opening and it's in the bag if you want it. But none of these things you've asked for or wanted or probably needed, which is actually quite relevant because the narcissist never had any intention of doing anything about it in the first place. But what they will do down the line is they will remind you of how much they have done for you and therefore what you now owe them in return. So star the narcissist of all strings attached by not allowing them to take away your self-control. Make sure that you accept no favours and then you will owe nothing in return. Starve them of your empathy. Narcissists are like those old door-to-door -door salesmen when all they needed was to get one foot in the door and they could sell anything to anyone. But in order to sell anything, you need to build up this relationship with the customer and learn about the customer needs. So the narcissist will work overtime to prove how much they know you and are there for you, buttering you up with loving text messages or little thoughtful gifts and gestures. And then when you least expect it, they will go in with a closing statement almost asking you to sign your life away and you have no idea how you've been drawn in yet again. To starve a narcissist of your empathy, don't fall for actions that require you to commit to or buy into their own needs. If they have a great idea or come to you with the, you are the only one I can turn to or ask, be polite and still be kind, but just like the door-to-door -door salesman, you do have the right to say, thank you very much, but you're not interested in what they have on offer today. Starve them of your engagement. Let's be totally honest here. You would need to be an absolute saint to have never uttered a bad word about anyone else. Right or wrong, reality TV and social media are platforms encouraging us to air our views and opinions and what other people are doing, saying, or even wearing. We even get the chance to vote for people we like the least and have them evicted, all in the name of entertainment. Whether it's at the school gates or over lunch, there will usually be at least one conversation related to what somebody else has done or said. 
but here's the thing. If two people are sharing thoughts about someone else, again, I'm not talking about right or wrong, this is simply about the simple fact that it happens. It's a private two-way conversation between two people. And unless one of them has no view or opinion and says clearly, like, I'm not getting involved, both people will usually voice some negativity. But when one of them then goes off and tells the targeted person what has been said by the other person, which is often embellished and taken out of context, they have only one motive in mind, and that is to cause pain and hurt in order to be seen as the trusted saviour. I discussed in my last video how we don't all like everyone, so having an opinion about someone else is simply human nature. But the person who gains enjoyment for relating what someone else has said when they were co-conspirator, unless it's essential that person knows, they are the dangerous, narcissistic person to watch out for. So starve them of your engagement. Don't gossip with them about anybody or anything, as whether it's malicious or not. The narcissist is the wolf in sheep's clothing. Remind yourself, if a friend tells you something that causes them pain for your gain, you can trust them. But if they tell you something that causes you pain for no gain, then question their friendship. Starve them of your interest. You weren't put on this earth to be an energy source or emotional support for a narcissist. And if you keep giving them your attention and engaging with them, their toxic presence will stay in your life for a long, long time. But if you stay emotionally neutral, uninterested and unengaged, the narcissist will turn to someone else to get their needs met. It's not your fault narcissists are the way that they are, and it's not your responsibility to fix them. So when dealing with a narcissist, your only responsibility is not to let them destroy you as a means to get the attention that they so desperately need. If you're dealing with someone who has narcissistic traits, you must learn how to protect yourself by developing the skills to manage your emotions and stay calm in response to the narcissist tactics. If you want to build your mental strength and face the obstacles and challenges in your life, then now is the best time to make the decision to do something about it. I've developed a program that will help you regain control of your life. 2020 has put more pressure on us than ever before, and you are not alone if you feel like you're struggling to cope. So why not join all the other women who are turning their lives around by finding both a purpose and the emotional freedom to be happy? You can go at your own pace as a little bit of motivation every day will gradually build up, allowing you to start making plans for your future, knowing that whatever it holds, you're going to be okay. I also have my training video on understanding and managing stress, and I'll use a simple tea stirrer to help you identify whether you are hitting the danger areas of stress or just under pressure and still able to make simple but positive changes to your life. The programme costs less than lunch out with a friend and can be accessed from the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share the video and do leave me a comment with your thoughts and questions. And if you've not already subscribed, then this is the time to do it. Do take care and I will see you next time.